Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Football Researcher Podcast. I know we haven't done a podcast in like six or seven months, but we are back, and I'm going to try to do it every Friday, if not every other Friday. But we'll just see how it goes. Um, but our podcasts have been mostly about football, and I'm... Um, we're still gonna do NFL, but we are. I'm going to try my best to do half NFL and half NBA podcast. And today's gonna be an NBA one. So, and you're probably wondering which, like, what is it? <laughs> well, today is the top ten teams that has a chance to win the NBA championship and. 2020 the 2021 and 2022 season and we're just gonna hop right into it with number 10 the number 10 contender some of you guys are gonna be very shocked about this but well just based off their current record people are gonna be shocked about it but I'm going with the Portland Trailblazers CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard is just a huge asset to the Portland Trailblazers and Nurchik or Nurchik is going to be such uh, they're I mean a big man and two really good shooters and two very good point guards that is almost an unstop unstoppable bunch especially with Damian Lillard one of my personal favorite players um number nine is the Toronto Raptors Pascal Siakam coming back on Sunday, actually. Um, then we got um, just a lot of other good players. We got, um, based on their current record right now, I think they're 6-3 and three or something, maybe 6-4, and four, I don't know. But they look really good. Um, I haven't watched too much on the Toronto Raptors. I did watch the game with when they played the Orlando Magic because I'm an Orlando Magic fan, but that was a huge, that was a great game, and Toronto played excellent, so did Orlando, but obviously they didn't pull out the win, but Toronto just played excellent, and they look like an NBA championship contender in that game, and in multiple other games that I've watched. Number eight is the Denver Nuggets. Um, If you saw last year's playoffs, it didn't go well in the second round for the Denver Nuggets with Nikola Jokic getting ejected in the last game and losing. Uh, it was just a sweep. and But Nikola Jokic is, I think he's a little underrated personally, but he's still really good. And they have Aaron Gordon to back him up, which is perfect combination. It was a really good pickup, in my opinion, to get Aaron Gordon. Um, I'm not sure if he's a point guard or... What he does, I haven't really watched the Nuggets too much this year, but I'm definitely going to start because they look, because the games I have watched, they look phenomenal. Um, and obviously, Nikola Jokic is one of the best on the glass, even though I think he's a little underrated or overrated, but he's still a very good player on the glass. Um, number seven is the Brooklyn Nets with Kyrie out. I think Kyrie was a a very valuable weapon to to the Brooklyn Nets. Um, James Harden and Kevin Durant are still very good, and I think they will make it to the... Well, I think there will be an NBA championship contender, his top ten contenders, but they're just... I don't personally think they will. That's why I have them at number seven. have them at number seven. But I think they'll have a chance. I don't personally think they will, but I think they'll have a, maybe a chance at making going far. Um, maybe going to the championship if they're lucky, I think. Kevin Durant needs to have some explosive games, and so does James Harden. With those two having good nights, great nights, they're basically unstoppable. But, um, <clears throat> other than that, oh, and they have Blake Griffin, which is a very, very valuable asset, I think, for the Brooklyn Nets. Like, I just think um, Blake Griffin's a little underrated, especially now when he's with the Brooklyn Nets. He doesn't get he doesn't get as much playing time. I don't know if he's a starter or not, but I just know 
he's very underrated. Um, number six is the Los Angeles Ra Lakers. Some people put it uh, lower than that. Some people put it higher than that. But I'm just going mi almost middle of the pack here with Russell, with LeBron James being, it seems like he's getting to be pretty injury prone. And Anthony Davis, um, he's, LeBron James, when he's healthy, is the best player in the Lakers. But when he's not, it's definitely Anthony Davis. Russell Westbrook is good. He's just not going to be. I don't think he's going to be too long term for them. Like at all. I think maybe he'll play one or two years with them, go somewhere else, or maybe even retire. I don't know. But um, I just don't think he's going to be long term. But I think Anthony Davis, when LeBron is not healthy, is the best player on that team. Um, number five is the Phoenix Suns. They made it to the NBA championship last year. Kind of blew it, in my opinion. Um. But with Devin Booker and Chris Paul, Devin Booker has not had the best year yet, but Chris Paul is having a very good year so far. Um, but I think Devin Booker, when if when and if I think they will make it to the playoffs, and I think everyone believes me or thinks that as well. But um, I think Devin Booker will definitely pick it up. Even the next couple games, I think he will pick it up. I'm not sure who they play. I know, I know they obviously play soon because they play like every other day or something but I think the next couple games will be pretty big for the Phoenix Suns just because they need to know if Devin Booker is going to be like just like he was in the championship or in the NBA finals um they just I feel like Chris Paul has been definitely leading the way I think they do have a winning record right now but he's definitely been leading the way for um Devin Booker has kind of been a number two um but they do have uh Jay Crowder which is he is very underrated um he is a I think he's the all package he is he can knock down threes he can he is good on the glass as well so um I think Jay Crowder is very good I don't know Devin Booker's number two right now. He could go back to number one, but Chris Paul's number one at this point. I think Jay Crowder's definitely number three, if not a number two right now. Number four is the Philadelphia 76ers. Ben Simmons out. I don't think Ben Simmons was much of an asset to them, but Joel Embiid and Seth Curry. Seth Curry's underrated. Joel Embiid's, I think, is a little overrated, pretty injury prone, but... um. I just think that the 76ers are really good with Seth Curry. Seth Curry is an awesome addition to them. And Joel Embiid is is good on the glass. It's they're kind of their only big man out with Ben Simmons out. But, again, I don't think he was that much of an asset. But I think the 76ers could be a contender, especially with their current record and their seeding right now. Number three is the Milwaukee Bucks, the reigning champs at number three. I got to go number th I got to go, obviously, top three because Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, and Brooke Lopez, and Pat Connaughton. He is very underrated. But um, I put them a little – I didn't put them at number two or number one just because of the fact that they are – so far – They've been very injury prone, and I can't find a way to believe that it that won't keep happening. With Drew Holiday been out for a while, he just came back last night, but and they played horrible against the Knicks last night. I don't know what happened, but Drew Holiday. I mean, with when Chris Middleton comes back, it'll help. Brooke Lopez is a little overrated. He's still good on the glass, but. I the one th uh, one thing I want to point out about Giannis Antetokounmpo is his threes and his free throws. They have been so much better. His stats have been so much better because of the threes and free throws. He's I think he's worked on it so much over the off season, and it is paying off tremendously for Giannis. And he's just a great player. I think he might. I think he's going to be an MVP contender again this year. But um, I think they. I think. Personally, even though they're not number two or number one, you'd probably obviously think I'd say number two is going to make it to the NBA Finals and number one, and number one would win. But I do think the Bucks will can and will make it 
to the NBA Finals this year again. Maybe not win, but I think they will definitely make it again. Number two, the Utah Jazz. Based on their current record, they are so good. Mike Conley, Davion Mitchell, um, big man down low, I forgot his name, but they are just so good. Davion Mitchell is one of the best point guards in the league. Damian Lillard, I think, is number one. Or Steph Curry. Steph Curry and Damian Lillard, obviously, number two and number one. But I think Davion Mitchell is number three, right up there with him. Um, top three, definitely, point guard-wise, for Davion Mitchell. Um, he's just so good. He can he can drive. He's so fast. He can knock down the three. And Mike Conley can knock down the three. I mean, he was in the um, NBA three-point contest a couple years ago and almost won it. But, um, obviously, he's just they're just so good. And number one, guys, the moment you guys have been waiting for, number one, the Golden State Warriors. All right, Draymond Green, Steph Curry. Obviously, Steph Curry is, I mean, he's just so good. I don't know what their current record is. I think it's 7-1, and one, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's 7-1. and one. I don't know. I think they might be the number one team in the league, Not um, if not number two, or definitely top three. I think they're number one or number two. But I think they will win the NBA Finals this year. And I don't know if Clay, I don't know what the deal is with Clay Thompson. I'm just not 100% sure what the deal is with Clay Thompson, but with or without, they are so good. They have a big man down low. Again, I forgot his name, but um, they are just so good on the glass. And Steph Curry is the best point guard in the league, if not second, behind Damian Lillard. I think actually, I don't know, it's it's a very tough argument, Damian Lillard or Steph Curry. I I don't know. Maybe maybe we make a little little video out of that. Steph Curry, Damian Lillard. Who do we pick? Um, I don't know. Maybe vote vote in the comments on what videos, what NBA videos we should do, and also vote in the comments on what NFL videos we should do. But um, yes, this the Warriors are just so good. I think they will win the NBA Finals. Um, so yeah, that is it for today's video. Um, I know it's a little shorter than normal, but we're going to try to get back on track every Friday, if not every Friday, other Friday. Um, we're going to be doing these videos, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and have a great day, great rest of your day, and see ya.